All right, all right, good morning. It's Saturday, beautiful day out. Not really, <laughs> as you can see. I just got done living an appointment. It's like it's about to rain today. I have a few appointments I have to get to this morning. I wanted to do a quick check-in with everyone. Hope you guys are doing well. Hope you guys are having a great week. And I wanted to touch base on a post that I came across a couple of days ago in regards to, as you guys already know, more trainings. And that particular post was, they were talking about focusing on going into like assisted living, nursing home facilities. Like, I'm not sure exactly what people are willing to pay for. Well, I know what people are willing to pay for, but I don't understand why you will want to pay, once again, for information that you can get on the website. It is what it is at this point. So... I've been a notary for quite some time now, about seven years, and I've done multiple. I, I can't even remember how many appointments I've done in nursing homes, hospitals, rehab centers, assisted living type facilities. And as a notary, you need to understand that those facilities can bring you a lot of business. However, you need to make sure you are talking to the right individuals when you go to those facilities. It's There's nothing special about it. Um, as far as, treat, it's just like a regular appointment. There's nothing special. There's no need to spend hundreds of dollars for training on stuff that you don't need. You just need to understand on who do you need to talk to when you get to those facilities. For example, when you get a call for, let's say, an elder who is in a nursing home, assisted living, rehab center, you are still getting the same information that you would have for any regular appointment. The name, the location, the type of document, do they have a valid ID, do you need a witness? You are still getting the same basic information. However, when you get to those appointments, we get to the facility, there are one of the main things that you need to understand when dealing with someone that's in a healthcare setting, you need to find out if they have capacity to make their own decision. Are they competent enough? Do they understand what they are signing? Are they doing it willingly? Because you don't want to notarize a document if somebody is being forced against their will to sign that document, or if that person doesn't have the mental capacity to do so. Now, you're just a notary. You're not a doctor. You're not a psychologist. You're not a neurologist. You're not a nurse. So you don't know if that person has capacity to make their own decision. Now, here's how you find out. When you get to the facilities, you can actually speak to a social worker. You can actually speak to a case manager. You can actually speak to a nurse. Some facilities don't have social workers, they might have the head of nursing or direct or director of nursing or just a director of the facility itself. You do not take the word of the person who call you to go into a healthcare setting, whether it's a nursing home, rehab center. I'm not saying that you don't trust them, but it is in your best interest as a notary to speak to a healthcare professional 
in regards to the individual that have to sign those documents to see if they have um, capacity to make their own decision before you notarize the documents. And you have to speak to the healthcare professionals. Just like I mentioned, it can be the nurse, social worker, case manager, director of nursing. Those are all the people at the facility that you need to speak with if you are questioning that the individual lacks capacity. They're not able to make their own decision. Now, if they are not able to make their own decision, then you need to find out if there's a healthcare proxy. Like who is allowed to make medical decision? Who is allowed to make decision on the behalf of the elder? Find out if there's a healthcare proxy or find out if there's a power of attorney. Those two documents will tell you exactly who is responsible and who is allowed to make decisions if the person cannot make their own decision. Do not just go into the healthcare setting. Do not just go into um, the rehab, the hospitals, um, the nursing home without checking in with a nurse, without checking in with a case manager, without checking in with social services. Because if you go in there and you notarize a document for a person who does not have capacity to make their own decisions, then you will be held liable for whatever it is. Like, it's not hard. You may not know the information, but the information is also available to you. It's free information. So don't fall into the trap of where you feel like you need some type of training just to go into a nursing home facility, just to go to assisted living facility. Don't fall for the nonsense. And I know it's about to come. There's going to be more training about this, but it's common sense. If you get to an appointment and you questioning whether the person is in the right state of mind, don't sign it. I don't care how much money you'll be. I don't, I don't care how much money they are paying you. I don't care if the if it's the kid, if it's one of the children that hire you to go get this paperwork signed and notarized. Don't do it. Speak to a nurse. Speak to a case manager, and find out one if that person has capacity to make decision. Two, if they don't have capacity to make decision, who is allowed to make decision on their behalf? Sometimes what you'll realize is the person that hire you to go there may not be the one that's legally allowed to make decision. Like I've dealt with it before in the past where I had to... Um, you know, talk to a case manager or a director regarding it. Um, ask them about the healthcare proxy. If there's a healthcare proxy on the file, sometimes you you may be walking into a situation where there's a family, um, the family dynamic. It's not. Uh, it's not a good situation, where you may have one children going against the other, and they trying to get certain documents signed in their favor, and you as a notary. You're not asking certain type, certain questions regarding, okay, if they've been allowed to, but in a situation like that, when you're dealing with someone that's in the hospital or nursing home, assisted facility, rehab, rehab facilities, that just might be, you may need to do just a little bit more just to make sure that you are completing it. You are just to make sure that the individuals that are, in front of you as a notary are supposed to be handling this type of documents. It's not, it's nothing, it's not, it's not anything crazy. It's nothing where I feel like you should be paying hundreds of dollars for you to get that type of information. Just go in, ask to speak to the case manager, 
ask to speak to a social worker, ask to speak to a nurse, ask to speak to um, the director. They will have, there will be someone that's there that can tell you. Don't fall for it. You don't need it. Save your money. Do not fall for the nonsense. All right? So, again, you know what? It's just something I came across the other day, and I'm like, man, a lot of people are about to fall for the nonsense. So, the key to going to nursing facilities, assisted living facilities, rehab facilities, when you are notarizing, ask to speak to case manager, social worker, director of nursing, or the head nurse of the unit, and find out if the person that you are meeting, if they have capacity to make their own decisions. And if they do not have capacity, then find out if there's a healthcare proxy on file, find out if there's a power of attorney, and find out who is allowed to make decision on behalf of that person. Do not go by what the person who hired you is telling you. Don't fall for it. That's it. Healthcare proxy, make sure there's a healthcare proxy and ask about the power of attorney. I am not here to give legal advice. If you feel like you need legal advice, then you need to contact an attorney. But what I am telling you guys, the information that you need when dealing with someone that is in a healthcare facility, it's available to you for free. You just have to ask questions. If, if something don't feel right, just ask the question. That's all you have to do. Don't miss out on opportunities because I feel like the next couple months there's going to be more training being pushed regarding this because that's just what they do. You are responsible for your own business and you are responsible for making sure things get done right. Don't fall into the trap. I don't care if you're being offered $200, $400, $600 for you to sign documents, have it notarized for someone who's in a facility. Find out if they can make their own decisions. If they cannot make their own decision, find out who is legally responsible on making decision for them. That's it. All right. Hope you guys have a good day. I'm about to get back on the road and be safe.